been it's been crazy, you know. Um, a lot more invitation to, to events and a lot more people noticing you know, on the street. And well, yeah, it's been good. It's been, been positive for me, for the gym, for Birmingham, for the UK. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to going out there defending it for the UK back home, home side. So, uh, I'm excited. The good old 70s. Mm -hmm. Going against Kamar Usman. Um, yeah, so it's going to be an exciting night. It's going to be a totally different fight going into this third fight. I, I'm truly confident, comfortable, taking my confidence from that, from no one that can knock him out, no one that can take him down. And uh, I'm excited, the, co the coach are excited, and it's, it's, it's going to be good. He keeps the fights coming, and then he counters that jab when he wants. Danger. This is straight danger. I think having the title defense in England is very special. It's very special for Leon himself, but it's also special for UK MMA. Um, it's going to lift, it's going to inspire so many young people, and Leon already inspires so many young people about it. But I feel that this is going to elevate it even more. I've always found Leon to have this wonderful blend of confidence and intelligence. And since the victory, he's become even more confident. But he's also given him so much experience that he can now bring to London. Three, two, one, and steam! And steam! Yep! I can't wait, bro. Kick just, can't wait. Kick just nice and coming back, coming back to Thailand because it's too cold here, bro. It is a bit windy, if I'm being honest with you. When you have fight with a guy like Justin, who loves to make blood in the cage, oh, you don't think about London. You think only about fight. You wanted this blood. You want to check him. What the? F That's, is that a hot tub? No way. <laughs> Look at it. Wow, a lot of beer. Nice, like it's good energy here. Good history. Like everywhere, like some buildings, like 200 years, 300 years and more. Beautiful, good energy. Yes. No. That sets it off. You're crazy. When you step in with the shoes, they're gonna be like, oh. no, they're gonna say this fool. <laughs> this fool's too worried about other things. He's gonna get his ass but, but really, you're not worried about other things. I worried about other things for you. <laughs> You know, we're just checking out some stuff. You know, I'm going to dress Justin. So, trying to find him something. He's going to dress me the next day. But, you know, like, everybody know when I dress Justin, everybody going to be like, damn, oh, Justin with the fashion. Come on, I was trying to get me to, to let him dress me up, but it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. I made it uh, a crazy goal to do 20 push-ups every hour. So that's 10 hours a day. And I did it for them, for the fight. Like, these guys work hard, so I think I have to do something too, so. It's helping me out. It's helping me stay strong for them when they hit me. <laughs> I look good, oh, that's right? You. That's you. Let me see, uh, Jay. Right. <laughs> Jay, let me see. Oh, the Rover, there we go. I've never been to London, so we just came down here to check it out. Thank you so much. Hey, nice meeting you. I mean, there's a lot of nice shit in there. It's definitely not, uh, not my cup of tea, as they say here. Oh, I cool. Go. Thank you. Yeah, for sure, man. How we going? Had a good meal, and now we're gonna go back and get our workout in for the night. I had a big ass burger, so I'm gonna have to get one and a half workouts in. First time here in London town. Having a great time, seeing the people, breathing the air. Fresh, fresh, old, but fresh. And then Saturday, we gotta set it on fire next Saturday. We gotta set this place on fire. My little brother here. My little brother here. <laughs> What's up, bro? Three, two, one, go. It was the last day of camp. Uh, again, we came in here to this place. Uh, it was just us tonight, acclimating to the time. 
Everything's going according to plan. Weight is good. Good. Justin! Are you ready, bro? Two, one. Who are you? Gaethje is an extremely talented opponent. His resume and his knockout speak for itself. Rafael, somebody that has had eyes on him since, you know, he was in the Muay Thai scene. This is going to be an interesting fight. I think the fans are the one who's get the biggest treat out of this. This is going to catapult Rafael into a title contention. That's what he plans on doing. Good, Raf. 15 seconds. Good. I'm ready. I'm ready like, like never. Fans they make this business, and uh, yeah, I agree with fans. This is firework. This is a, like, like his nickname, highlight. This win, uh, I mean, look, he's a former interim champion. Yeah, he's a fight with legends a lot. He's a, have a big career. He's a very, very famous guy. Can't wait for going and uh, see him in the cage just together. Just smell blood, smell, smell his heart. Yeah, and eat his heart after. We're gonna go up and back, so you can start from there wherever. We got one, two, step over, one, two, carry to hip. One, two, step over, one, two, carry to hip. One, two, step over, one, two, carry to hip. So Rafa Kumar and Justin is unbelievable. Uh, I got the phone call asking me if they could come and train at the gym. I had the hook coming back this direction. And I'll be honest, I didn't believe it. And until the car pulled around the corner and I actually saw them get out of the car, I was convinced that it was one of my friends winding me up. It's just an unbelievable, for a little humble gym like ours, to have such massive, massive superstars here, it's, it, it's unbelievable. I still, they're here now, and I still don't fully believe that they're here. Good, bend your legs just a touch. Right there, keep that, good. We're dialed in, like this, is, this has been a training camp like no other. And you have to be grateful for the path, and when you're throwing these opportunities, it's just like, man, it's time to work. So we're just working harder, we're a little bit more focused, and got three JFs. These are the funnest fights for me. I like it because it's a rematch, and it's something that we, we had lost to Leon. And it's up to us to go into this fight and prove who we are and in his hometown. This is what makes champions great. It's another fight, you know, but for me, more so, it's, it's just proving a point. You know, I am the best in the world. I've showed everybody that countless times. So, you know, why not give it to him one more time? Yeah. Good work. Yeah. Good cross up. Step around. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Good. Tonight is the end of our last two weeks of uh, our peak weeks. Uh, body's tired. Coach has been kicking our ass. I'm definitely ready for uh, for a week to just wind down and we just gotta cut weight now and um, really yeah. a little bit more on my shoulder. Gain that confidence. You know, we've been putting the preparation in. You just gotta believe in the hard work that we've been putting in. Every fight is just the next fight, and no matter if it's our first fight, 25th fight, 35th fight, it's, uh, it's the same game. The mental challenge that this game is is second to none. No other sport can match it. Uh, good work. Get your gloves off. Fighting at its greatest is, is facing adversity in the, in the roughest of crowds, and in what better place? you know, to do it here, so. Right now, it's just technique. We don't have to be super fast. Feel free, you want to use it for defense, you're moving your head on the sprint step. We're excited, we're dialed in, we're focused, we're in shape, there's no excuses, and we're here, so. The best stories is not how you fall, it's how you get up. And face adversity, we're gonna go face adversity, and we're gonna show who the best in the world is.